Which brings us to question number six. How do I set up the rules inside my decision diamond? Um, so like any element on the Campaign Builder Canvas, if you double click on the decision diamond, you are taken into an interface that allows us to set up the rules um, for each of your various outcomes, for each of your various sequences. Um, and it's sort of like a Mad Libs style uh, sentence builder where you say, if the um, contacts, custom fields, phone number has a value, send them here. And if the contacts, custom field, phone number doesn't have a value, send them there. Um, or if the contacts tags contains blog subscriber, send them here. And if it doesn't contain blog subscriber, send them somewhere else, right? And the rules are pretty straightforward if you're doing some simple segmentation, like two things that are opposites, if they do have this or if they don't have that. Um, but they get increasingly complex when you introduce multi-part statements, right? I mean, I will point out that the rules uh, use what is known as Boolean logic, which doesn't mean a whole lot to me, um, but I'm told for people who have a background in engineering or mathematics or who have just a deeper understanding of Boolean logic that that can be useful as far as um, you know, seeing how it's broken down, seeing how the logic actually works. But my best practice is to keep my rules as simple as possible whenever I can and to use the test feature exhaustively, right? I describe decision diamonds as my Achilles heel, just because I, I think I, I like to think I know the campaign builder pretty well, but more than once I have gotten my logic statements wrong. So no matter how confident I feel, I am always testing it, always making sure that I test each of the permutations to make sure people are going where I think they need to go. Um, and then one one feature I'll point out is that you can copy rules. So if you have you know six different sequences and the rules are really similar, sometimes copying rules from one sequence to the other and then making small adjustments can prevent or reduce the the, the human error in this situation. And finally, you do get to establish a safety net. So if somebody doesn't meet the criteria for any of the rules, um, the default is that they will drop out of the campaign at that point. But if that is not what you want, you can, at the very bottom, you can select what you want to have happen as a default outcome if they don't meet the criteria for any of the rules. So you can say, you know, I've got rules for sequence one, two, and three, and then if they don't meet any of those rules, put them in sequence three anyway, right? So my advice for you as you're building your rules is to be patient with yourself, um, to practice and to test frequently to make sure you've accounted for all of the different situations.